Share your tabletop role-playing game stories. Good, bad, cringe, horror, glorious, Henderson, etc. Just share them. Be me. Forever DM. Party of six-ish players, roles and names aren't important. Players tend to get distracted, so a two-session dungeon ends up taking like five. Whatever though, we're having fun. Party is almost done with the dungeon they've been going through. Next session is the boss. Been wanting to use minis. Decide to take this time and go all out on it. Craft the surrounding terrain for fighting. Trees, hills, bushes, loot, etc. 3D print cannon fodder enemy minis. 3D print and paint minis for the party. Fast forward to two weeks later. Waited so long so we can have everyone for the boss fight. Session finally happened. Day of, one player calls and cancels. Even though I double checked with everyone like five times that the day worked. Said they were feeling sick or some shit. Texts her boyfriend. Turns out she had an argument with another player after last session and never fucking resolved it. Instead of sucking it up for the last boss and then quitting after, she decided to just say everything was all good until the day of and then not show up. Even though I put all the effort into this shit and she knew. Even though I perfectly selected this day because one player was going on vacation for two to three weeks a few days later. Whatever, we'll play when they're back. Everyone else ends up getting new jobs or different hours. I'm still mad. Honestly, that Aww, is fucking bad. my heart I for, that, really bad for that. I fella. feel really you bad know, for that. Damn, like, it, it's hard to putting find. in all your fucking effort. Like, ah, no. Like we do so many stories about horrible DMs. Like we do. Yeah. There's so many stories, but you do get really good ones at the yeah. same time. You know. Oh God, and, love them. Oh, that's just sad. Oh. If you want any 3D printed models, we've got a shop down. Oh wait, yeah. he's site. got more, <laughs> and somehow it gets worse. Oh, okay, okay. On to the next part. Startup campaign a few months ago. Ebron inspired setting. Actually planned out everything ahead of time so I know where the story is going. Six ish plus players was hard to schedule last time, only four this time. Girlfriend, friend of mine, girl from last time, and her boyfriend. All cool people. Two sessions in, this coronavirus shit starts. <laughs> girl and boyfriend lose their jobs. Instead of waiting for the unemployment or anything, they decide now is the time to break their lease and move halfway across the country to live with boyfriend's parents. I just want to play D&D, man. Oh. I feel so bad for that. So yeah. I. That's shocking. That is shocking. Player asks for more character interaction and role-playing. I run an open session full of character interaction and role-playing. Same player says she was bored, wanted more combat, and asked why the game can't be more like crit roll. Uh, 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 uh. You know, I, you know. Look, I'll tell you guys a bit of a secret. I, I've never actually bothered watching Critical Role. I just know it's cringe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I know. I know there's a big fan base, and I know a lot of people love it. But like, I'll be honest with you, it does bring out the worst players. It Oof. does. Oof. I'm sorry. <laughs> Have trouble finding a group for years. Have very particular taste in games, and years of forever DM have been edge sword. On one hand, I'm very experienced and skilled at being a DM. On the other, I can no longer enjoy being a player because most other DM flaws are immediately apparent to me. Hear about solo gaming, and playing tabletop role playing games by oneself. Never have a problem with hurting a group or scheduling conflict again. Initially, didn't know if it would be fun. But after a year of practice, there are actually brief moments where it's more fun than playing with other people. Be honest with you, playing single player RPGs are fucking gay. I know. Well, it's not actually gay, it's more just very sad. He referred to himself by oneself. What can you say? What can you say? What can one say? <laughs> I have one that is unfortunately somewhat common. Be me. Live in Louisiana. I mean, imagine actually living in Louisiana. <laughs> and ironically. Living on a fucking swamp. <laughs> Fuck, that sounds shocking. DM an open table one shot intro. RPG night at a fun local game store slash used bookstore twice a month. Talk for a week plus with RSVP players to help them roll a character and know the setting. Fast forward to game night. At least one guy in a confederate flag, Trump, Nordic pride shirt walks in, sees I'm not white, and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> that also, that's like the Nordic keeper meme. 
Yes. <laughs> bonus <laughs> points. Bonus bonus points if they send hateful messages to the owner or me after. Usually call me a mm or a mm. <laughs> I'm native. <laughs> oh, poor boy. That's honestly shock. That's just sad, to be honest with you. Be me. Open 12 hour role playing game tabletop night. Part of the organising group, so I show up early, 5 to 6 pm, and try to help people with what they need. One guy is assembling, in quotation marks, many of Akron the Ever Chosen. <laughs> Honestly, that's not a many, it's gigantic, so it is. It's a really cool model. <laughs> in quotations, many. It's a, it's a really cool, lovely yeah. looking model, but like, it's by no means a miniature. I recall he said he'd organise something, so I go up to him and talk about what he got planned. Yeah, I just got this one in the mail. It's going to be the final boss of my game, bro, but I might need some help. He shows me the instruction manual. There was no glue in the box. Mine going to get me some? Oh my god, he is so fucked. There's no way someone that's never put together any models can do that. Ugh. I need to get, like, the, the instruction manual's gigantic. <laughs> like, I mean, it's thick. It, thick it's with thick. three C's? It's, it's, it's a fucking... Three C's and a Q? Like, it's not a pamphlet, it's a booklet. <laughs> right? And that says an awful lot for a model kit, right? We're a college town, but there's not that much hobby shops around. Sure, you pay me back, though, all right? I go on a walk to find the glue he needs. 40 minutes later, arrive at a hobby shop. Explain my problem. They got a glue shortage, so one deluxe bottle left. $20. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Grumble and pay up. If I return back to ask if he still wanted it, I'd probably arrive after closing. Give him his glue. Notice he got multiple books set up next to him. D&D 4th Edition Bestiary. Warhammer book. D&D 5th Edition Player Handbook. Pathfinder book. Dear God. Dot MP3. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm preparing my campaign. Right, uh, glue was $20. He fishes for his wallet. Shit, I only got five and I was planning on paying for the chicken with that. Me, fuck off. Don't even try to pull that shit. I know. You know what I mean? Suck the balls. <laughs> See boys pull that shit. Actually, give me 20 bucks. I don't fucking cough up, bitch. Give <laughs> some, you know some deck around the corner and give me my 20 yeah. bucks. Entrance to the event is five bucks. With that, you can get a box of chicken midway through the night. What? Tabletop fucking place you go to and they give you a box of chicken. Me, I love that. Although I don't know, like, can you imagine? Mm, I don't. I. All mm, of the show? I don't think I trust neckbeards cooking my chicken. Yeah. Well, no, they're professionals at tendies. Oh well. You know. So. Okay. <laughs> Get a box of tendies midway through. Me, that's <laughs> you want? Who got the Barbie sauce? <laughs> me, tell me you wouldn't want that though. Oh, back to the story. Right. You pay me back later though. Right. Okay. I hope you come to my game. Event finally starts. Acheron's game is in Schedule 3, so I got two games ahead of that. Play through games of GMs who I love the style of. Honestly, an amazing experience. Before Schedule 3, we have an hour worth of break where those that paid their chicken... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't clock me. I knew I was saying it wrong, but it's Archaeon, okay? So Archaeon, come see me as I eat my meal. Yo, dude, could you give me a hand? Very anxious at what this train wreck is going to tell me, but so far I embrace that the only way this can go is chaos. I'd need you to make two character sheets. What? This boy's going up to him asking him to make two character sheets? I don't have time to make them. I need a paladin and a wizard. Size. Pick up some sheets and the 5th edition manual and get to work. A friend of mine joins in. You're making that for a chaos game? Nod. I think I'm going to join in. Figure it's better to have company in misery. Work with him on a silly ass character. A dwarf paladin who's proficient in whipping. Okay. <laughs> okay. What the fuck's a dwarf? Dwarf? Is a dwarf, a dwarf elf? elf? Make that pure heresy. No. Ugh. Don't even do that. That's absolute. No. <laughs> sort your life, right? We're having a great time making those characters. On my hand, I make a war wizard. Finally, game time. Show up. There's four of us. Two who I've never seen before and the DM. He starts with a disclaimer. So this is going to be my first game. I've never DM'd before. Ah! Uh, <laughs> so far, so good. So I'd like you to treat this game with the utmost seriousness. I won't tolerate people cracking jokes at my setting or at my story. That's That'd be very disrespectful and I might kick you from the game. Please do, honestly. I Wait. don't want to be in your game. <laughs> I don't want to be like that. Wait. What? I get a sinking bad feeling about this game, and so does my dwarf friend. 
I don't like saying dwelf. I know. It's, it's oh, not I, right. I, I don't like saying it either. It doesn't sound right. So, you begin your adventure being convoked by the god emperor of mankind. Oh my god. He asks you to come to his castle. The throne room is multiple kilometres high and even longer than that. It takes you about two to three hours just to walk from the door to the throne of the God Emperor. Oh, All hope is lost. Nothing good can come out of this. No, it can't. You know, you know, find out he's the type of guy that laughs at fixed bayonets. <laughs> heresy. Everything's heresy. <laughs> oh, so see the vast majority of 40k memes. They're absolutely dog shit. And anyone that laughs at them needs to sort themselves out. I'm sorry to say, the vast majority of 40k memes, like the pop, very, very popular ones, are just not good. All right? They're not. I love 40k. But the memes are bad. <laughs> and something needs to be done about that. <laughs> the God Emperor explains to you your mission. The forces of chaos have emerged from a portal somewhere in these lands. And stop them. I swear I'm not making this up. That's horrible. You will need to collect the four elemental weapons to defeat Archaon. Me, why not just use horse? Why the fuck's he putting people, the, the chaos champion from fucking Warhammer Fantasy? Into 40k. I can't talk about 40k. And, and, I can't. I can't I know, even comment on it. You don't have the. You, you don't care, care much for 40k, but I do, and this is fucking cringe. <laughs> right? That's all I can tell you, Megan. Just assume it's cringe. Ooh, I'll cringe. cringe. It's cringe. He brandished his half-finished, not painted figurine. Oh God. Mate, there's no way he even got that half put together in the time <laughs> no. he was given. And close the demonic portal. Cringe. <laughs> you posted cringe. <laughs> uh. Sure, but do we get horses to get out of the throne room? Because I don't really want to walk all the way back. I crack out. Death glare from Archaon. You, of course, will get access to the stable and four of the kingdom's best horses to help you in your quest. And the god emperor points to a side door next to the throne. Damn, really wish we could have came through that door, says the dwarf. Archaon loudly sighs and we begin the quest. So, where are we supposed to start looking? You have no idea. We're just supposed to guess where we are? No response. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> One of the player checks his watch. Shit, man, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. Got a dentist appointment tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh my god, I that's dip. perfect. I, I might. <laughs> right, that's me. See you, bye, boys. Sorry, sorry. He leaves and we all damned ourselves for not using that excuse. Well, that's too bad. Let's start investigating for traces of chaos. Anything that has tentacles and fucking mm. warp spawn fucking pouring out of so it. anything that looks like hentai. Yeah, pretty much. Sure. Roll investigation. The three of us starts rolling. You find nothing. Well, what do we see? Where are we? Our Kaon lays back. Well, you see a farmhouse. Sure, let's go investigate the farmhouse. Roll investigation some more. One of us get the magic number the DM wanted. You see that the farm has been raided and killed, and there are blood traces leading into the woods. Let's follow them. We'll walk slowly, not to lose track of them. You guys fall in seven bugbears performing a sort of sacrifice. Look at our sheet. There are three of us, level four. First is seven bugbears. I start casting fireball all around, making the best of the splash damage I can. Dwarf player gets up. Damn, I think I'm going to go grab myself a coffee. <laughs> Anyone else want anything? We're all good. The DM cuts in. All right. We wait for 10 minutes. He doesn't give any sign of him <laughs> coming back. <laughs> oh my God, that's cool. Like... Go to check. We took his stuff and left. Make up an excuse for him. Yeah, apparently his mum called and he had to head back. Forgot he told her he'd be back by then. Ah, oh well. I assume you can take care of his character. <sighs> uh, for fuck's sake. Whatever. In the distance, you hear a rumbling sound. And looking through the trees, you see an approaching chaos army. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. Uh, we're running the fuck away from here. Fuck that noise. You can't. Uh, why? Archaon begins fumbling around. Because uh, you feel the presence of a nearby elemental artifact. Uh, yeah, in the middle of the fucking chaos army, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Fuck's sake, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, where? Y y y you're not really sure. <laughs> All right, so I'll begin casting Detect Magic around the area. It says it has a radius of somewhere around X, so I'll cast it here. Here and here. You detect it's in that area. Yes, but where? Underground! <laughs> what? Okay, we'll start digging then. Oh, you got a dwarf to dig a hole at least. Oh, yeah. 
The other player gets up. Sorry guys, I'm real tired. I think I'll call it quits here. <laughs> oh well, my like, god. I love this because we always say these stories like These guys are based in Red Pill, just right, getting right. up going, I've got a dentist appointment. Yeah. My mum called me. Yeah. Do you want a coffee? <laughs> like, you know, like seriously, we always say this when we do these sorts of work. Why do you not just get up and leave? These guys actually These just are, guys just got up and left. I'll give them credit, these guys are proper beasts for this idea, so, right? Oh well. No point in continuing one and one then. I get up too, tired and exhausted from this awful session. He never got to use his Archeon figure. I never got my $20 back. Probably one of the worst tabletop games I have ever experienced. It's not one of the worst ones I've ever heard of now. He just, like, he the was trying was just, something it, and it was a lot of something and it just no, didn't happen. There was a lot of something. And there was a lot of something there and, and not a, enough fucks like, not to enough be given. I think yeah. he just thought, like, Oh, uh, you know what would be really cool? First time you, DM, he just threw do, everything at me. Do you, you want to, like, uh, okay, Archeon's really cool. We can use him. Uh, God, Africa Mankind, he's really cool as well. But, like... Level 4, that's <laughs> fucking chaos army at yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I don't know. There was, there was a lot going on there. Yeah, the a lot. Be a trucker. Whenever I have the night off, I look up game stores for drop-in games. One night I find one in the city. It's a relatively normal looking game store. Sit down at the table. Ask who the GM is after a bit. Turns out he's late. The GM comes in, looking a little sweaty but he probably ran here. Apologised and started running the game. As the game went on he became noticeably more uncomfortable and pale. Multiple people would ask if he needed a break after he started and intermittently burping and groaning. I wouldn't be, that's not a good sign when someone starts no, groaning. No. He waves us off and continues. Suddenly he mumbles something and stands up. He gets up too quickly and bumps into the table, falling back into his chair. The moment he hits the chair, he starts to violently puke onto the table. The person across the table had no time to react, gets splattered with puke. Someone starts to retch and people start to shout. <laughs> I am totally shell-shocked. I grab my dice and just nimbly hurry out while the screaming gets louder. <laughs> Never found out what happened after. Had to deliver shit for U-Haul the next morning. <laughs> what the fuck? Running modified Lost Mines of Fandelver and Dragon of Icefire Peak combo. Party starts at level 3 because fuck level 1. Yeah, I'll be fuck yeah. level 1. Come across Seldar and Gundren's horses in the forest. Goblins attack. After murdering the goblins, Sork slings one of the bodies over his shoulder. Party heads to the goblin hideout. Sork rolls to intimidate every goblin they come across with advantage because he's literally carrying one of their dead bodies. Succeeds like 90% of the time and gets them to release Seldar. Goblin bandit leader comes out of his room to see what's up. Paladin swings his glaive at him with smite and surprise attack, completely killing the boss of the session in literally one turn. <laughs> nice. That'd be awesome for you, yeah. Base and repel. Yeah, that's an interesting <laughs> take on the Lost Minds of Fandelver yeah. Goblin hideout. Be a player in friends group for literally years. Agree to DM to give back, since he always wanted to play but always wanted to be the DM. Do a session that takes months to plan, is mediocre, and continue to plan for the next session for months. Completely get bogged down in details and logical plot holes, so it takes literally half a year before session 2. Eventually give up on the whole thing, breaking forever DM's heart a bit. Restart with a smaller group of new players. Maybe it'll be easier with newbies. Same thing, one session after a month, then break for half a year. Covid-19 hits, quarantine begins. Decide this is the time. Start a new campaign with players from the first game, including Forever DM. Get going three weeks in a row. Decide to pick up the other group as well. Now doing a game a week with alternating groups. I did it, TG. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's a nice, nice one to end yeah, it on. No, that is a nice one to end it on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, some of the stories were pretty good. But also, see, fuck that one with that boy with the fucking, oh, just square you up next time. £20 for glue? Suck my 20 ball. quid's 20 quid. I know, fucking suck up, bitch. Who's paying £20 for glue anyway? Um, Citadel glue can be quite expensive. It's put, yeah, I know, I know. Of course. It's Games Workshop, what do you expect? Workman's glue! <laughs> I know. You need some workman glue to put him together. But no, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I thought there was some fun ones in yeah. here. Yeah, if uh, you've got your own, like, 
random. It don't, they don't have to be bad. They can Anything be good. They can be bad. The cringe. The horror. Yeah. The glorious. Whatever. Put them down below. No, we might make a video on it. It might be a bit of fun. Who knows? You know what I mean? If we get enough good ones, yeah, if, I think it would be a lot of fun. But look, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the other good shit. Don't forget to check out the model store. Models, model store, the furry hunter. It's only a pound. Check it out. It's pretty cool. And my Finger channel. guns. Choo -choo -choo. Yeah, check out Megan's channel as well. And we're working on something else as well. But it's terribly. We're not talking about that. We're not going to talk about that yet. But it's going to be common, and you guys are going to see it, and it's going to be cool. You're so going like, to like it. So. Well, hopefully, it's either gonna, you're either going to like it, or you're going to be like, this is gay and cringe, Jeeves. <laughs> Please fucking delete this. What are you doing? Yeah. Why have you forsaken this cursed land with us? But look, that's enough blabbing for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you it's next time. It's an OnlyFans account for James. I know, I'm going to be selling fucking feet pics, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.